Shalom, we the Hebrew Israelite. I'm here again on another beautiful weekend to prophesy the total de destruction and downfall of your beloved wicked country, America. First of all, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. And much love, peace, and blessing to all the real elect Akim out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. Today we're going to be dealing with uh, the subject of uh, not wasting time to turn to the Lord. Because a lot of people think that they still have like 10 or 20 years to get themselves right with the Lord. And that's not true because the doors of mercy and grace are closing fast. As we see prophecies unfold, things are taking place on a worldwide scale, not just here in Indianapolis, but all over the world. So that means what? These are the signs of the time that the, that the Lord is coming back sooner than, matter of fact, uh, before they get Romans uh, 11, what is it, Romans 11 and I think. chapter 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that now is a high time to awake out of sleep I don't awake out of what sleep the sleep that's here in America that got you dumbed down not knowing your nationality or your heritage or knowing who you are ran by who the so-called white man which is Esau and Edom in the Bible because why he give all kind of distractions to keep our people away from the word and you how about shooting out a shot and knowing who they are who their savior is, what the savior look like, see what I'm saying? About what? The cares of this world that you see out here, man. A lot of people think that the stuff the white man has is, is heavenly thing. They think that this is heaven, not knowing that when the Lord comes back to return, that he's gonna destroy this wicked kingdom that you see right here before your face, man. That's why it's time to come back to the Lord before all hell break loose. Said, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. See, our salvation is nearer than what we believe. It can happen at any moment, man. It can happen tomorrow. It can happen five minutes from now. While you're riding in your car thinking life is good, the Lord could come back and crack the sky and destroy you. Why? Because you put the Lord off for whatever material uh, thing you have, man. Whether it's cars or women, money, your job. See what I'm saying? That's why it's important to turn to the Lord now before it's too late. It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. See, what is the armor of light? And now we're going to understand the scriptures, man. Which is a prophecy of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai. That's the armor of light. That's what you have to put on, man. And no more being this darkness, being dumb of what's going on, man. And being dumb of your nationality and heritage. What the Lord has for you, man. But first of all, you have to be chosen by the Lord to get this. Because it's not meant for everybody. Some people are destined for destruction. Some people are destined for salvation. But you got to make it your choice to try and fight for that salvation, man. The Lord is not going to just let it fall in your lap, man. You got to put forth an effort also. That's it. Yes. Okay, go back to Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 1. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It said, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Now, who is the creator? Your heavenly father and the son. You how about she have a shot? It says, Remember him in the days of, the, of, your, of your youth. See why you're still young, man. Because we got a lot of old coon heads that dropped the ball, man, and didn't teach our people the knowledge. That's why we're so far gone now, man. That's why, that's part of the reason why our people are destroyed. Because these old coon niggas know the white man is the devil, but he has been beaten down so, so much that he accepted this beating by the white man and just made friends with him, man. Instead of teaching our people that what, this white man is the devil, that's our enemy. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says, remember now the creator in the days of thy youth, while the devil day 
While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. See, it said, while the evil days come not. What is that evil day? Martial law. Jacob's trouble. That's why you're supposed to get this truth now while you can, man. Because when all hell break loose, there's going to be a famine of the world. You ain't going to get this no more, man. You're just not going to get this, this, the, the breakdowns of the scriptures. You're just not going to get the Lord's name. You're going to be calling everything to try and get help from the Lord, but it's going to be too late, man. The doors of mercy is going to be closed. That's why the Lord is telling you now to get it in, in your youth, man. Before the evil days, it says, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, meaning you get up in age, man. Because this is not destined to be here forever. We only here temporarily, man. The Lord can come back and crack the sky at any moment, man. What you gonna do when you get your, your, your get caught slipping as they say in the hood, man? The wisdom of Solomon, your life is but a vapor. There you go. You know, it's, 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 it's nothing, man. You here today, you gonna be gone today. <laughs> you used to be here today, gone tomorrow. Now it's here today, gone today. That's right, man. I, I used to say all the time when I was in the uh, world, when, when, when some of these people got killed, I was like, I bet when they woke up that morning, they didn't know they'd be dead by the end of the day. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right, so, man. So you're supposed to serve the day of the Lord while, while you got a chance, man. While you young and strong. You do some way till you hold and decrepit, man. That's right. You can't do shit. Yeah, Lord, don't want you when you old and decrepit, man. But guess what? The Lord is going to use Esau with the so-called white man to kill you, man. See what I'm saying? That's why it's important to get, this, get the Lord now, to get this truth now while you can, man. A lot of y'all turn y'all back on the Lord and be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do all it the right. next day. Right. And then all hell break loose. You're sitting there looking stupid, man. See what I'm saying? That's why it's best to put your best foot forward now while the evil days are not here. See what I'm saying? Because when all hell breaks loose, you ain't gonna know what to do, man. You're gonna be up, as they say, shit creek with no paddle, man. Why? Because you rejected the Lord and his word, man. Give me uh you got something, bro? Give me Proverbs 8 and 17. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. That's right. The Lord said, I love them that love me. And who is that? The elect of Israel. So that means what? That's another cut to that John 3.16. Because if, if the Lord came and died for everybody, then why did he just say, I love them that love me? Because a lot of y'all hate the Lord. You say you love the Lord, but your actions show otherwise. Man. Just tell you that if you love the Lord, you'll keep his commandments. Man. Yeah. You know, that's just plain out flat. Scripture say, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. That's how you show the Lord that you love him, man. I know what he actually do with these scriptures, man.